Great. Jesse McDougal here. The martial arts money. Donald Trump just elected to president of the United States. First president ever to become president without serving political office. It's huge. And or never join the being in the military. Interesting. New times, new changes. The world's different. Um, before I start my work day today, uh, I'm going to come out with a book review. Uh, How to Make Millions with Your Ideas. Dan S. Kendi. I got this uh, referred to me years ago out of the Tim Ferriss book. Uh, indirectly, obviously. Um, uh, the 4-Hour Work Week, he writes at the end, here are the books I've read that have got me to this point. If you read these books, you'll know everything there is to know about this topic, this topic, this topic. And this is one of the books in there. And when I find clues in life to the results that I'm seeking, I follow up on those clues. And that's one thing I've, I've found, um, one thing that's been one of, I guess, my edges. Um, I don't want to say an edge, but just one thing that's working for me. I don't like comparing myself to others. Um, but I definitely have some things going for me. Um, so, so that's great. So I'm definitely going to show my strengths and talk about my strengths because um, that's what we're here to do. And uh, what works for me might not work for someone else, but uh, works for me. It's I think it's pretty cool. So I always follow up with wisdom and clues, and you just outwork someone, outmaneuver someone. If you don't know something, just ask yourself, ask Google, start talking around your circle until you get the results you want. Ask and you shall receive. Now, for this book here, I actually wrote notes. So depending on... Huh. Look how many notes I wrote. So what I usually I used to do a lot, and not so much really anymore because I'm super busy with my all my companies. Um, <clears throat> every time I'm reading a book, I have a highlighter. <clears throat> Always. I used to have a pen. That was like six years ago, and I would take notes. But uh, saw in some of the health self help books um, that I get into later in my library. Um, I'll show you how I use those. So the truth is, I don't really even remember this book. All I remember is that it didn't suck. So I took a lot of notes here too, which is not, that means it was really good. Just going to read out some of these notes here. One thing I really remember out of this is the mail order business. So I own an email marketing company. So I get people's contact and addresses and stuff like that. But I actually could use that list with their mailing addresses and mail them a physical product. Um, It's not the easiest thing to deliver emails into the inbox and fighting spam filters. Even though you're running a legit email company, we're not going to get into that. However, I can pay money and a piece of paper goes to someone's door. That's kind of important. And Dan S. talks about this in traditional Marketing and other business ideas are still valid more than ever, even though technology's changed and stuff like that and we're evolving. There's always going to be face-to-face transactions in the old school business, I'll call it. Yeah, internet marketing and uh, still fairly new. Uh, formulate, uh, formulas for success do not work any more than a diet does. Very, very true. If a diet worked, there would be only one diet. What he means is <coughs> formulas. There's no, uh, so I, I, I'm a chartered accountant, so I come from like um, professionals that seek perfection and they want to be experts and have the right answer all the time. A lot of engineers, a lot of left brain people, a lot of scientists, they get, they focus down into the one percent five percent of an issue and really me i like tackling 80 percent of an issue if i know 80 percent of a topic that i'm comfortable with and i can navigate the the strategic plot points i'm cool man good you know calling the expert to figure out the detail i'm an expert in a few things i don't really want to be an expert in uh more things i've realized and learned when you're an expert you pigeonhole yourself into one thing one thing that I didn't like, uh, even when my accounting 
I got my accounting designation. I was on my own. Um, I don't like exchanging my time for money. We might say, well, what do you mean, Jesse? I don't like exchanging my time. You know, God, whoever gave me time. I have a finite amount of time. How much time it is, I don't know. So I don't want to exchange that time for someone to give me money per hour. I just don't. That just... The money matrix world, I know where that'll bring me. I've been capped out down there <clears throat> and it didn't bring me the results I wanted. Um, it brought me financial results, which was cool, um, but not the interpersonal results that I was seeking. Maslow's hierarchy of needs is something important to look at. Um, but back to this bullet point, um, formulas for success don't work because there's no formula. With the martial arts of money, my philosophy, there's a rhythm, there's principles, there's similar things you have to do to be successful. It's stacking the deck in your favor. Um, now, dieting, it's a lifestyle. I've never said diet, lifestyle, lifestyle. I always preach lifestyle. I don't preach, but I've always had the mentality of lifestyle. And I'm 35 years old and I'm in like pretty amazing shape. Um, I'm, you know, so... Yeah. And so my point is I don't really follow a diet per se, I just follow a lifestyle, um, which turns out about two years now, I was actually on a mixed martial artist diet. Like I'm cutting weight for a fight for a year and a half. <laughs> that was a little too extreme. I even, now that I look back, it was pretty insane, but I was dialed in, man. I dropped 20 pounds on my, on my frame and Oh, you lost muscle. You lost. Yeah, I did lose muscle. I lost strength. I don't care because my cardio went up so much. My confidence went up. My fluidity, I was able to move faster. I could fight someone for 30 minutes straight and barely even break a sweat. So to me, that's, that's pretty insane. But that lifestyle diet I was on was not a diet. It was a lifestyle. So I made an MMA diet, an actual lifestyle. It's kind of insane. So he's saying the same thing about uh, success here. You just you do it and you find your own way. There's an art to success, but there's also um, logic. So there's a left brain approach and a right brain approach. And you have to combine the two. You have two, two sides to your mind. You have a left brain and a right brain. Use them both. If you don't know what I'm talking about, that's okay. That's cool. It's totally cool. Um, I don't want to get too much into a tangent here, but the left brain is very logical, very ones and zeros accounting. Expense goes in this bucket. Credit goes in a liability or revenue account. Art side, oh, blue or red, hmm, what's better? Well, blue or red, you it's hard to put math to. Now, you can put math to colors and science and stuff like that, but we're not going to get into it. The, the philosophy of the right brain, the colors, shapes where things go feng shui, even though there's math behind that. Okay, so I'm going to move on here. I'm not going to read all these points because I've already taken eight minutes of your time and I'm hopefully trying to give you deliver, deliver you value um, out of this eight minutes you've given me out of your life or invested in me or heard me. <coughs> Don't worry about impressing people. Inspire them. That's true. <laughs> I've only read through two bullet points. This is so good. Inspire them, yeah. And <clears throat> I've noticed you inspire people by just doing what you want to do and just taking no shit, taking, just cut to the chase, get it done. People will appreciate you, your your honesty, your hard work, and just live your heart on the sleeve and impose your will into the world. Best equity ex is exclusivity. That's one thing I've learned is I, I'm actually, I've, I've always, I, I like working with people. I genuinely like people, but the way my career is going, it's secluded, secluded, secluded. Oh, that didn't work. That didn't work. This didn't work. That didn't work. Well, this working. Okay, here, blah, blah, and just keep following the results. And here I am, um, self-employed and building up my own companies. And I collaborate with other people, but at the end of the day, my equity is my equity. I'd rather have a small piece out of a big pie than have a, a big piece out of a small pie. But with the way my life is going and replicating other business mentors and friends, um, it's going to be okay. And I saw a photograph on Instagram the other day. It was a picture of a lion. 
and just sitting there alone in the jungle. And it's like, learn to fight alone. And I was just like, dope. Learn to fight alone. Yeah. So, path of entrepreneurship, it's one of solitude a lot of times. Uh, okay. People are interested in interesting people. Fact. I hope that I'm interesting. I hope that you're interesting. I hope to connect with you. Price objections are value problems. Correct. Even from small almonds, empires can grow. Boom. Small almond. Most of the people listening to this are going to be small almonds. But an empire can grow. That's amazing. I love that. That is just, that's gold. If that's not motivating for you, I don't know what is. One of my interview questions I ask people uh, when, I'm, when I'm hiring for whatever position, what motivates them? Different kind of things motivate other people. For me, for example, um, I enjoy building opportunities where I don't have anything in my way holding me back from producing the results I want to produce. Okay, that's pretty specific. <laughs> but, you know, some people are, it's, they're motivated by money. They're motivated by security. They're motivated by part of a team, stuff like that. So you got to figure out people's motivations. Figure out someone's motivation, their fear and their greed. You can usually navigate them. P humans are quite predictable. And I use that a lot in my team building strategies or if like running a accounting department or in one of my internet companies, <laughs> try to figure that out. Um, inventing products. Risks are reduced when you have the distribution channels. Get the distribution channel, then make the product. Get the distribution channel, then make the product. It's important because if you have a distribution channel, you can create multiple products. Like as an internet marketer, there is just thousands and thousands of products out there, like just tons. So I don't have a problem selling products. I have a problem of a distribution channel. I've only got so much traffic. Okay, I want more traffic. Everyone's out there hunting for traffic. Okay, selling the power of shared passion. If you can give people time, you can make a fortune. Sell time. That's with my healthy cooking business. Uh, I was building five, six years ago. I made a menu. Just There's just a beta menu up right now. I got to finish it. I've been procrastinating on that for three years, that project. But that's good. Healthycookingdelivery.com or healthycookingmenu.com. Healthycookingmenu.com. It's on sale for $4.99 right now. Uh, I'm not, I am trying to plug my own stuff, but it's good. Like I built this healthy food menu that you cook your, your meals every Sunday. You cook them Monday to Thursday and you eat on those meals and how much time you save just by being organized and taking a few hours or taking your Sunday, buying your groceries, preparing them. It's a lot of work, but you're going to have to do that work anyways throughout the week. So instead of you having to come home from work, and cook and clean and take care of the kids and then go to bed and then like that's a lot of work that's groundhog day man that's over and over and over so if you cook your food <coughs> on sunday healthy food that is good you you get monday to thursday you know uh lunch supper breakfast whatever and uh you save time the stress just the stress is taken off of everyday grind of cooking because I found I'm so there, I'm selling someone time and also selling them health. Because when you're tired, you, you worked a long day at work. Like I totally understand, you know, you skip the gym, you come home, you got the kids, you got to prepare a meal. Like what? You can, you can't do that. You can't be perfect forever. You look at Michael Jordan. He's never perfect. You just consistent results, hard work, just keep pounding the pavement. But that's when people, uh, They'll mess up and they eat McDonald's. They'll come home, drink. Like I'll be honest, the other the other day I had a. Uh, I went to the gym, came home. I had six bags of like Halloween potato chips. Like, what are you doing? I was just too lazy to make food. So, lifestyle, healthycookingmenu.com took me I don't know three four years to build up to that food plan. It's basically a paleo diet food plan. Um, before paleo was called paleo, I guess, whatever. Anyways, it works, but sorry for that rabbit hole. We're going to come back here. Go where your talent takes you. 
This is good stuff, man. I'm sorry for taking 15 minutes of your time, but this is gold. This is absolute gold. Go where your talent takes you. Play your strengths. Strengths. Build on strengths. When the line between work and play is blurred, you are on the right track for fortune. Hmm, that's awesome. I'm actually enjoying doing this book review and uh, talking right now. It's easier to make a million dollars doing something you enjoy and are excited about than making a million dollars to purely make a million dollars. That's kind of true. That's one of the areas I'm currently in uh, with my email business and my real estate business. I don't really like love it. I'm not like, yeah, let's get houses. Or let's, you know, maybe if I'm building houses uh, eventually, that'll be more fun for me. Um, the email, it's, it's a grind. It's a grind. I'm building a company, it's a grind. And, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not following my passion in terms of that, but that's going to lead to so much. And that's a huge challenge on its own to build a successful real estate company and a successful internet company. And I'm also doing martial arts most nights out of the, of the week, pursuing that. So I'm attacking three angles. And uh, so I think it's pretty good. But at the same time, uh, one of my other friends said that to me. He's like, yeah, but you're not really, you know, doing something or whatever, blah, blah changing something or following your passion. I kind of said, yeah, you're right. And I kind of thought about that over the day. Then I went back to him in a second. I was like, get your head out of your ass, dude. Wake up. Like, this is huge money here that you have an opportunity to make huge money. And you're just kind of laying back and, oh, I'm not interested in making huge money. It's like, what? That doesn't make any sense. You're, you're, you don't really have a career. You're not really doing much. Like, these are computer science problems that we went to school for that are actually enjoyable to figure out it's challenging it's mentally stimulating and it can be done so okay supply an mlm company wow multi-level marketing company i studied many of those companies supply a multi-level marketing company i didn't even think of that that's huge think about it for a second Multi-level marketing company. They have massive amounts of people in there. If you can give them a product they need for their business, you have a large distribution channel, a large customer base to make sales and distribute your product and or service. That's huge. Acquire customers for free anytime, anywhere, every time, and every way you can. Yeah, so I that's... I remember this book now because me, I can provide accounting and consulting services. I can provide business consulting services. I can perform, uh, provide uh, performance consulting services. I can provide IT services. Uh, what else? Taxation planning, digital marketing. And I don't suck in any of these things. I would classify myself as an expert in accounting, business, and IT. And uh, I'd say um, an expert in email, definitely. Not all the distribution channels online. I don't I think people out there are few and far in between. They're experts and everything. You can't be experts in SEO, Facebook advertising, uh, Instagram, email, blog. There's just too much work. You can know a lot about a lot of those channels for sure. Um, an expert, everyone. I mean, I guess you can. There are probably people out there and they make a lot of money, probably. State the problem, emotionalize the problem, solve the problem. Take the same language, talk the same language as your customers. The lion's share of opportunity and profit is in the back end of your business. Boom. And that's where... I truly love business. I love building the back end office support system. It's called Boss Back Office Support System. I've done this at a few companies now. I've had amazing results. One high tech company I worked at, I was writing checks for half a million dollars a month. Half a million dollars a month. I brought that burn rate. If you ever watched that show, uh... oh, shoot, I forget it. It's on just before Game of Thrones, Silicon Valley. They talk about their burn rate and their burn rate. So $500,000 a month, this burn rate was. I brought that down from $500,000 to $250,000 $250, a month. I was proud of that. OK. 
Okay. Yeah, that's very important. Okay, I'm going to cut this off here because it's 20 minutes and uh, let's turn more of a podcast. But I really want to, after this podcast, I'm going to sit here and read these, these notes because these are, this is just great. How to Make Millions with Your Ideas by Dan S. Kennedy. Just, I'm, I'm going to give this five stars out of five, 100%. And it's a fairly easy read too. That's, that's the good thing. Yeah, this is a great book. So the thing I like about taking notes in books is like, if you looked, uh, if you went to post-secondary education, you go to school, you read a book, you take notes, write things down, you come back and then reread your notes. That's how you ingrain knowledge and material in your brain. Um, that's, this is just amazing. The lion's share of opportunity and profit is in the back end of your business. And that's one angle that I, it took me a lot of money, a lot of time to realize my true strength is I see angles that people don't even see. They're going forward. I'm like playing defense, looking back, building uh, the back office and then streamlining business processes. And they'll sound like buzzwords, but it's very, very important. <clears throat> Efficient business processes is time and money. Dan S. Kennedy, apologize for taking 20 minutes of your time, but I hope you got some value out of this. If you want to connect, shoot me an email, jesse at mcdougal.ninja, uh, jesse at the martial arts of money. Follow me on uh, uh, YouTube, Instagram, jmacdougca, and uh, take care. Have a great day, and I switched up my, my daily routine. I want to do this book review before I started my actual work day. I'm working like a beast lately, so I want to uh, enjoy my morning ritual. Take care. See ya.